In this video, I'm going to show you how to do whitewashing on a piece of furniture. If you've ever seen a back your piece and then applied a top coat, you'd know how much the colour can change and it can turn quite orange. You can do this very simple paint washing technique to tone down those orange tones for good. Hi, I'm Ashley from Blue Red Interiors and I am here to help you with your furniture flipping adventures and show you all the tips and tricks I have learned over the past eight years. So let's get to it. Here I am performing this whitewashing technique or paint washing as I like to call it, because we can use any color we like. Just think of it as a water-based stain. This is a maple sideboard and we wanna keep it looking as natural as possible, just like it was freshly sanded. Stick around until the end because I'll have some added bonus footage for you where I'll show you exactly how I mix up my paint washes, as well as my four top tips to give you an even finish. And you'll also find the links to everything I'm talking about below the video. Okay, I'm applying my paint wash with a brush. You can also use a cloth, but I prefer a brush as I think it holds more paint. And yes, my piece has been sanded back to raw wood, but the best results of your paint wash, there is no way around this. It is, however, possible to do a paint wash over an existing finish, but you won't get the same results and it will look very different. I like to apply the paint wash in small sections and then wipe it off with a dry chucks cloth. As you wipe it, you'll find that the color looks very opaque, but once it has dried, it will have soaked right into the grain. It is important to wait till the next day so you can see what it truly looks like. You can mix your paint wash to whatever ratio you like, but I like to use a ratio of one parts paint to 10 parts water or closely one tablespoon of paint to one cup of water. And generally that amount will be enough for a whole piece. That ratio of one to 10 is my go-to ratio for the most natural looking finishes possible. I keep wiping away the excess with the grain as well. I'll use the same cloth for the next sections until it's too wet to soak it up and then I'll just grab a new cloth. You can already see the difference with the contrast of the drawers compared to the outer frame. So just to recap, this is what the piece looked like before I sanded it all back and now with a water-based varnish to seal it. No orange or golden tones. It still has a nice warmth to it, but it is not overpowering. And as I mentioned earlier, you can add more paint to your wash for an even lighter look if you wanted to. Now, an important thing to remember is light washes like this give the best results on wood that is naturally light in tone already. So no, this light paint wash won't work on wood types like mahogany or cedar or the likes, but you can do a black paint wash, for instance, for a different effect. This maple sideboard turned out so beautifully and it went viral on our Instagram page. Tell me what you think below in the comments and if you think this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Okay, so now for the bonus footage of how I mix up my paint washes and my four top tips for an even finish. I like to mix it up with a jar with a lid and I'll measure it out like this. One tablespoon of paint to 10 tablespoons of water and that pretty much equates to one cup of water. Tip number one. I like to choose a white paint like this or an oatmeal color or sometimes a tan and sometimes I'll mix them together. I like to choose a mix that is similar to the wood that I'm applying it to. Tip number two, you can use any water-based paint you like, even hardware store wall paint. The only paint I haven't tried this with is chalk paint, so I don't know if that will work. Tip number three, keep mixing your paint wash. The pigments in the color settle to the bottom very quickly. So for an even application, keep mixing. Tip number four, don't throw out the mix. Put the lid on and if you need to go over a section again or you've missed a spot, you still have the same mix to reapply with. That concludes today's tutorial and thank you for watching one of my very first videos here on YouTube. Help me out and subscribe to my channel and be on the lookout for more upcoming videos on refinishing furniture.